Do you know the difference between an order received through ONDC and a regular order received on your online store? And do you know how to process an order received through ONDC? If not, no worries. In this video, I'm going to help you understand exactly that. So without spending any more time, let's begin. So firstly, let's try to understand the difference between a regular order and an ONDC order, right? So how do you identify that this is an ONDC order and this is a regular order that you have received on your digital catalog on your online store. So what you're looking at uh, on the screen is a regular order which we have received on this uh, demonstration store. And now let's uh, switch the screen and let's look at uh, an ONDC order and then you'll be able to understand the differences between a regular order and an ONDC order. All right, so let's uh, switch the screen so what you're looking at on the screen is an ONDC order. Now, how do you tell that it is an ONDC order? So there are a few uh, highlights or few points that you can look at to identify it as an ONDC order. Firstly, the order series will be different. So a standard order series is LS and then uh, followed by uh, certain numbers and whereas here you can see the order series is different this is a numeric series the second is ondc is written there so i'll just highlight it very clearly you can see ondc is written so it is obvious that it is an ondc order then you have uh, the bap id so bap id is basically the name from where the order is placed or on which buyer application the order was placed so that is the BAP ID. And then uh, we have transaction ID here. So transaction reference number and then ONDC order ID. So these are the five uh, fields which can help you understand that it is an ONDC order and it obviously written that it is an ONDC order. ONDC is very clearly written there. Now, once you have identified that it is uh, an ONDC order, then it is essential that you should process the order immediately because uh, the standard term uh, or standard timelines for uh, fulfilling an ONDC order, not fulfilling, dispatching uh, an ONDC order is 24 hours. So within 24 hours, you have to dispatch the order. So it is, uh, uh, it should be done on priority, right? So immediately you should start processing the ONDC order or you should treat uh, ONDC orders on priority. Now let's go back to our other screen. So. Here we'll understand the processing or the process of uh, uh, dispatching uh, an ONDC order. So this is where we'll be using uh, the demonstration store and the process of uh, packing and dispatching in a ONDC order is same as uh, doing it for uh, any regular order that you have received on your online store. So for example, this order that we have received on uh, this online store, this digital catalog, so uh, we have seen that the customer has ordered two pairs of running shoes so we can pack the order and once uh, the order is packed that's where we can come here and we can click on create shipping package now what you are doing is uh, you are wanting to deliver the order to the customer so this is where you will in case of ONDC orders as well you'll click on create shipping package which will open this overlay on this overlay firstly you'll select a logistic operator for example we want to ship it through ship rocket so we have selected ship rocket you can select other operator as well depending on your requirement and then you have to input the dimensions and weight so this is the dimension and weight of the packet not the individual product so you have put both the running shoes in this uh, uh, order or in this dummy order the customer has ordered to pairs of running shoes so we have packed and put both the running shoes together and now we have to uh, input the dimension so length width and height of uh, the box in which we have put the both the shoes and the weight of the box so both the shoes together including packing what is the weight right so we have to input that now in case you are using standardized packing so you don't have to input the same details over and over and again so in that case what you can do is uh, you can use this button and you can input the detail and then click on the plus button and you can add these details so for example i have done that for uh, this uh, demonstration store so if i select boss 7 that's where you can see the dimensions are pre-populated or right so they automatically start appearing so you don't have to essentially type it over and over again now coming back to ondc order processing so you clear clicked on uh, the overlay and then you selected the logistic operator and then you have inputted the dimensions and weight now you have to select the pickup location you have this flexibility that you can 
add multiple pickup locations and then uh, at the time of uh, requesting uh, pickup or requesting uh, uh, courier pickup uh, from the logistic operator you can select uh, an address so we'll select the store address and then you have to click on check serviceability so that's where uh, uh, there will be a api or a online check uh, digital check will happen and that's where the courier company has responded yes uh, the order can be delivered and they'll be charging x uh, price here which you can see on the screen once you are okay that's where you have to click on confirm and ship you have to click on this button confirm and ship which will initiate the process so this is where uh, you can see it will take a few seconds and now the process is initiated now once you have done that then you have to click on view which will uh, open the screen on the screen you have to scroll down and then you have to click on view and here you have to again click on confirm and ship so i'll just repeat that once again for your reference so after clicking on confirm and ship you have to come here sorry this order click on view scroll down and you'll see view click on view and then click on confirm and ship once again you'll have to do that two times and uh, that's where uh, now you will get the documents from uh, the courier company so i think uh, that process is happening so now you can see once we have clicked on confirm and ship uh, this is where uh, we have received the invoice we have received the label and manifest so now you have to click on uh, generate label and a document will get downloaded it is basically a sticker that you have to paste onto the packet that you have packed so you have put both the shoes into a packet now you have to place this uh, label on top of it and then you have to uh, take a print out of manifest which will uh, be uh, on which you'll receive the or you'll on which the courier person who has come to pick up the order will give you a receiving and then uh, invoice is optional so if you want to use the invoice you can do that otherwise uh, you can send your own invoice so if you have a billing system you can generate invoice using your own billing system and you can use that this is optional so if you want to use you can use otherwise you can ignore but label and manifest uh, are important so manifest uh, has to be printed in duplicate one copy will be taken uh, away by the courier person who will come to pick up the order the on the other copy they'll give you the receiving and label is obviously something that you will be pasting on the packet so this is how you will be able to process uh, an ONDC order now there are a few things that you have to keep in mind the first point which I've already explained to you and that is you should try to dispatch ONDC orders within 24 hours from the time of receipt that is crucial after that uh, the second point is uh, that uh, the order should be updated properly if you are shipping through a ship rocket or bama ship or any integrated logistic that is part of the seller panel then obviously the order delivery will get updated through the api automatically however if you are shipping through a third party logistic which we don't encourage but if you are doing or you are delivering it yourself then it is crucial that the order should be updated or the status of the order should be updated so it should not happen you have delivered the order but you have forgotten to update the status of the order as delivered so if you are not updating the status of the order as delivered that's where it will not uh, notify the ondc network and the buyer application that the order has been delivered so the obvious implication will be that your uh, uh, settlement will get delayed but more importantly it will impact your seller ranking right so try to deliver within five working days from the date of receipt of order so within five working days try or within five days not working days within five days you should ideally try to deliver the order so the timelines is within 24 hours dispatch the order and within uh, five days deliver the order so that should be the target and which should which you should uh, try to comply with there are exceptions and exceptions uh, will happen so it is not like uh, for every order you can practically meet uh, the deadlines but uh, try to meet the deadline as much as possible otherwise your seller ranking will get impacted and that will reduce the visibility of your products as a seller i hope you found uh, the tutorial video informative in case you need any further help or assistance please do feel free to reach out to our help desk the contact details are listed in the description of the video for your reference